Hi, hello. Uh, this is Reggie, and uh, in, on this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to record the exact location of the uh, hover box. Okay, uh, make sure you have the uh, you're in your lords of, lords of traffic. Actually, we get, we're only going to use two traffic exchanges to record the hover box. One of them is the uh, Lords of Traffic and the other one is uh, Show and Find. These two traffic exchanges the only two we're going to use to record the location of Hoverbox. Uh, once we know the location of the Hoverbox, Hoverbox of these two traffic exchanges, um, they will all apply on all traffic exchanges that I uh, showed you, uh, the eight traffic exchanges. Now let's let's just make sure your Lords of Traffic you're you're in your Lords of Traffic members area, um, and same on your Show and Find, and you can go ahead and uh, press Start Surfing. This will bring you to the uh, Surfing window of Lords of Traffic. You do the same thing on uh, Show and Find. You go to Show and Find and press Surf Now. Okay, this will just maximize it again. Make sure you always maximize your window. Um, and if you notice, show and find, when you press that uh, surf again, it will open a surfing window. Um, but it will not close the uh, members window. So what I usually do is just close the, uh, the members window and just leave the uh, surfing window open. Uh, for reasons you're gonna find out later when we're doing the surfing. Just make sure you always have one window or tab window for for each traffic exchanges like uh, show and find I only have one tra uh, tab window and lords of traffic I only have one tab window. So now uh, going back here at lords of traffic uh, you'll see this is the hover box I'm talking about. Okay uh, for Lords of Traffic, actually, the hover box is only this small box here with the arrow. The hover box is this arrow here. So if I hover on top of that, you'll see that um, it will go to the next page and you'll get credited. Uh, you will get uh, credited there. Now, oops. Okay, I just hover on that uh, box again. So th that's the hover box. Now, it will show up on top and sometimes it will show up at the bottom just like this one it just showed up here and it will never show up on the right side it's always on the left side so if, if you hover there again see you now it's, it's switch and I keep getting credits whenever I hover there it just switch automatically you don't need to click that's why you know it's called hover surfing okay now to start open your uh, auto script writer it's actually in when you downloaded the auto hotkey click that folder and auto script writer so this is the auto script writer small window make sure the uh, there's three buttons here one is window text the second one is a record mouse and then the record and sh and shrink make sure you press the record mouse button uh, and this record and shrink button Make sure that those two are pressed. Okay. Now, once uh, once you know uh, now this auto script uh, writer is always going to be on the foreground. So if I click back on this uh, Lords of Traffic, my auto writer is still on on the on the foreground. But you can still work here, even though that's still on top there. The uh, auto script writer is still on top. Okay. So let's just wait there for a second and. You're gonna start recording the uh, location now. G using this auto script writer, um, when you run the record, when you press the record button, it will record everything you do in your computer. Whatever you type, recording the movement of the mouse, it recording. It will record when you click somewhere, when you click anywhere. Let's say I click here, I click there. It will record the location of those, the location of those area where you click in pixels relative to your monitor. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so we'll just start here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna press record now. 
okay now it's recording so uh, when what I want to do is I click on this inside this hover box here in the middle at least in the middle and um, just make sure so okay let's say I click there now I hover there so it changed on the uh, it, it reloads or go to, went to the next page but make sure you just click make, make sure you click on there okay and um, so if I'll stop it for now just to show you okay yeah I don't think you'll see this on the screen but in here it will give you the uh, the uh, reference or the coordinates right here here on mine it says 379 um, horizontally 379 pixels and then 178 pixels vertically so basically the location of this hover box on top uh, from here from here to there is 379 pixels and from up from up here to down here is 178 pixels now this is on this is uh, based on my settings on my monitor um, and all different monitors will have a different setting and it will give you the right pixels here so uh, mine will be different than yours once you record uh, unless we exactly have the same settings of browser same setting of resolution of the monitor same size of monitor etc okay now now that I have the location uh, the coordinates of the first hover box of the hover box on top I wanna get the location of the hover box of this hover box at the bottom as well because you uh, you know when you when you do the auto surfing you want the mouse to hover on top and the bottom just to cover whether the hover box is on top of the bottom okay so I'll do the recording again I'll press the record again and um, I'll just keep hovering on this one but don't do don't click it because you don't really want to record the location of that again because you already have that so just hover don't click because when you click it's gonna be recorded when I'm hovering it it's not recording anything so now we'll see the the hover box is when it's at the bottom now that's what we need so we need to record that location so what we do is we click on it we don't just hover we click inside it so I go in there just let it uh, change the uh, let it change the page let it change don't worry about it but just make sure you click in there so I just click okay so I'll stop it again so I'll, I'll see a second number here so the first one is the one on the top this the second one is the one at the bottom okay that's your coordinates that's the coordinates of the hover box for Lords of Traffic.